hello and welcome back darklings so today I wanted to show you some new stuff I got and I got this lovely crow and skull from the Dollar Tree isn't that amazing likewise I got some new candles I don't know if I showed you all this yet the serpent I dedicated that to Loki on my altar I also got this candle isn't that amazing that's on my ancestor altar it bleeds too so my boyfriend got me this super cute little music box. It is a nightmare before Christmas, I know. Look at that! And it sings the um, opening song. This is Halloween. I got this really cute jewelry box. It kind of looks like old books. Um, I absolutely adore it. Another gift from my boyfriend. Got all my little jewelry in it. Yes, I love it so much. I also got these little like poison jars. I have more of my little uh, herb and spell <laughs> recipe supplies. But I got them because I ordered and have so much uh, different little crystals. Um, you know, the tiny ones you get really cheap, like they're little pieces. And I figured I could put them in that and relabel them, and it would look amazing on my shelf. Next, I got this super cool moon water holder um, from Walmart. I love it. Absolutely freaking love it. <laughs> and there is currently some moon water in it. I'm harnessing that energy from that eclipse and then I also put it out during a storm so I got a lot of interesting energy in that for some uh, chaos work that I want to be getting into here soon I did get a couple of new decks so I got this Starman tarot my beautiful creatures which I've already shown on here this uh, line strider which you guys have seen and this super cool oracle deck that I absolutely love I'll probably be doing some walkthroughs of these soon so I also found at a bookstore um, this book on dreams the complete book of dreams um, guide to unlocking the meaning and healing power so this book has some super cool stuff in it. I can't wait to dive into it. it. It literally seems like it has almost everything pertaining to dreams. So you guys on here know that I love dream work. Um, so that's right up my alley. It's got just some beautiful uh, pages in it. It literally covers just about every single topic it's got like tips exercises herbs crystal like just about everything you can think of when it comes to dream work so yeah next i got a shadow work journal by uh, is that kayla shaheen i hope i pronounced it right <laughs> but this I've went through and I cannot wait to dive into. It is excellent. It seems like it goes so deep into integrating the shadow. It literally has everything in it. And since I feel like we're always doing shadow work, it isn't a one and done, I'm not going to write in here. Instead, I'm going to use um, external journals for this and reuse it and keep revisiting it every time I feel like I need to do this work. I am so excited! I got a Coraline doll, right? I've been wanting one forever now and to collect it, so I'm so happy that I got it. Yet again, another gift. He's just a wonderful man. But... I, I don't really want to open it because I'm trying to keep it nice. It's a collectible, but you can remove the raincoat. I mean, it is fantastic. And if you're a fan of Coraline, like me, you'll appreciate it too. It was just such a good movie. And perfect for spooky season. 
if you're looking for a watch and you've never seen it. Though it is a cartoon, an adult would appreciate it and like the anxiety that movie will give you. I'm sure you guys have seen these around. They're kind of everywhere now. I got mine at the Dollar Tree, but I love these little boxes. I'm going to redo them and put some tarot decks in it. Make them little tarot boxes for the decks that I do not have a box for. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> So yeah, I think these things are so cute and imagine redoing them in your own way to make them a little tarot box. My totally cool tote bag, right? Isn't that cool? I absolutely adore it. <laughs> yes, I love it. I already got all my stuff in it, but... I just thought that was so cute and it's one of the long ones that you can sling over your shoulder and it ain't that big but it's useful and it holds everything I need it to hold. I finally have tear on my altar now, right? Right? So now we have tear and Odin. Next is going to be hopefully Freya and I want Thor and Loki as well. I cannot wait. I don't know if I showed you guys my new mortar as well, but this is it. I love it. It's really heavy stone, like great quality. And I was so excited to finally start getting some of my tools back. You guys know I moved around a lot, so I have to re-get everything. But this is my new one. I absolutely love it. And it works great. I've already crushed some stuff in it. Beautiful. This is my new candle holder. Oh, it's already gotten a little dusty. But this house collects dust like nobody's business. But um, I absolutely love that serpent on it, right? This is on my Hecate altar. I built her one for the season and because... Though I do work primarily with the Norse gods, you guys always know Hecate holds a special place in my heart and is the first deity I had ever worked with besides Nyx. So I built her an altar and I have been doing some stuff with her. I went down to the crossroads, made a little petition, and um, talked to her, did a little ritual to honor her. Deep in the woods by my house, if you follow the dirt road, we have a three-way crossroad back there, and that is where I did the ritual. And after that, I built her a beautiful altar. But this is my new candle holder, also found at the Dollar Tree. I've got this awesome Medusa little page. It's holographic, so she changes. I don't know if you can see it, that glare. Ah! It's hard to get this in film without the glare, but this is absolutely stunning. And I love, let me see, there we go. Now let me show you with the changes. Right? Isn't that gorgeous? I hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog of my little haul. And as always, sending you love.